this video, we will see some of the important three mark question from chapter 2 polynomials. So the first question is, if one zero of a polynomial is 7 times the other, find the value of k. And the polynomial they have given as 3x square minus 8x plus 2k plus 1. So the solution for this will be, let alpha and beta are the zeros of this polynomial. We are going to take alpha and beta be the zeros of this polynomial. Now, the sum, we know the sum of zeros formula is minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square or it is minus b by a. Also, in the question, they have given one condition that is one root, let it be alpha, is equal to 7 times the other. That means alpha is equal to 7 beta. So we are going to use this alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. Here in this polynomial a is 3 that is coefficient of x square, coefficient of x b is minus 8 and coefficient of c is 2k plus 1. This is the constant term. So it is minus minus 8 by 3. Now, alpha is given as 7 beta. 7 beta plus beta is equal to minus into minus plus 8 by 3. Or 8 beta is equal to 8 by 3. So, the value of beta is 1 by 3 because this 8 and 8 will get cancelled. But they have not asked us to find what is the value of alpha or beta. They have asked us to find what is the value of k. So, to find out value of k, we are going to write the product of zeros. We know the product of zeros is constant term divided by coefficient of x square. That is c by a. Constant term is c and coefficient of x square is a. So, I am going to write alpha into beta is equal to c is 2k plus 1 for this question and a is 3. Now, we know alpha is nothing but 7 beta. So, I am going to substitute that 7 beta into beta is equal to 2k plus 1 by 3. That is 7 beta square is equal to 2k plus 1 by 3. Or we are going to substitute. We know the beta is 1 by 3. So, 7 into 1 by 3 the whole square is nothing but 2k plus 1 by 3. So, now 7 by 9 equal to 2k plus 1 by 3. This will get cancelled. Here when 3 is there. So, 7 by 3 equal to 2k plus 1 or 7 by 3 minus 1 equal to 2k plus 1. Then we can write 7, take the LCM. So, 3, 7 minus 3 equal to 2k or 4 by 3 equal to 2k or we can say that cancel this 2 here. So, the value of k is 2 by 3. So, the answer for this question is 2 by 3. We have used the formula sum of zeros and product of zeros. Now, the second question is quadratic polynomial 2x square minus 3x plus 1 has zeros alpha and beta. Now, form a quadratic polynomial whose zeros are 3 alpha and 3 beta. So, we know the formula to frame the quadratic polynomial that is nothing but x square minus sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros product of zeros. So, we have to form, we have to frame a quadratic polynomial with zeros 3 alpha and 3 beta. My answer will be x square minus 3 alpha plus 3 beta into x plus 3 alpha into 3 beta. So, this I can write as x square minus 3 is common alpha plus beta into x plus 3 into 3 9 alpha beta. 
Now, how will you get the value of alpha plus beta and alpha into beta? So for that, they have given this equation and the zeros they have given as alpha and beta. Same zeros only here, alpha and beta. But it is 3 times alpha and 3 times beta. So now we are going to use the condition which is sum of zeros. Sum of zeros. Just now we wrote the formula. Sum of zeros is minus quotient of x divided by quotient of x square. Or we will write minus b by a. So, alpha plus beta is equal to here a equal to 2, b equal to minus 3 and c equal to 1. So, minus minus 3 by 2 and product of zeros is nothing but co constant term divided by coefficient of x square or c by a. So, c is 1 and a is 2. So, alpha into beta is 1 by 2. Now, substitute in this formula x square minus 3 into minus 3 by 2x plus 9 into alpha beta is half. So, this is x square minus into minus is plus 9x by 2 plus 9 by 2. Or if you take the LCM, we have 2x square plus 9x plus 9 and this half we can write here. So, the required polynomial is half into 2x square plus 9x plus 9. So, once again we will just check the answer. Alpha plus beta is equal to here 1 minus sin is there minus minus 3 by 2 minus minus 3 by 2 is plus 3 by 2 so alpha plus beta is plus 3 by 2 minus into plus is minus and here also it will be minus so you should be careful with the sign this minus sign always put the bracket so it will not make mistake minus into minus is plus 3 by 2 so here it is plus 3 by 2 minus into plus is minus so the answer is our required polynomial is half 2x square minus 9x plus 9. Now the third question is if the sum of the zeros of the polynomial p of x is equal to a plus 1x square plus 2a plus 3x plus 3a plus 4 is minus 1 then find the product of zeros. So we know the product of zeros what is the formula for product of zeros product of zeros is constant term divided by coefficient of x square c, c by a so here first we will write what is a coefficient of x square a is a plus 1 and b is 2a plus 3 that is coefficient of x and c is 3a plus 4. So product of zeros they have given as c by a so it is 3a plus 4 divided by c by a a plus 1. Now, before that they have given one data, sum of zeros is minus 1. We have to use this data, find the value of a and substitute in this equation. So, sum of zeros, sum of zeros is minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square or minus b by a. So, that minus b by a, b is 2a plus 3 by a is a plus 1 and sum of zeros in the question is given as minus 1. Now this minus and minus will get cancelled. We can write 2a plus 3 divided by a plus 1 equal to 1 cross multiply 2a plus 3 equal to a plus 1. Take a to one side and numbers to other side 2a minus a equal to 1 minus 3 or a equal to minus 2. So, we got the value of a as minus 2. Now, substitute here so that we will get the product of zeros. Our question is to find the product of zeros. So, I am going to substitute in this 3a plus 4 divided by a plus 1. So, which is equal to 3 into minus 2 plus 4 
divide by minus 2 plus 1. So minus 6 plus 4 divided by minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 which is equal to minus 2 divided by minus 1 the answer is plus 2. So the product of zeros is plus 2. Thank you for watching the video.